Hello there, Konnichiwa, good morning to you all. So now this will be my review for Fairy Tale 344 chapter called Wizards vs. Hunters. So basically this start, uh, this chapter um, starts when the last one ended, basically with uh, Natsu and his group pursuing the hunters of the hunters guild and actually these guys that are kind of goofy or we all i think and also some videos i saw about uh, reviews well we all kind of have a similar idea that these guys will only be for their characters in the sense they will not uh, be able to put up a decent fight and so on because we were all hyped because the appearance of Minerva but apparently actually these guys actually they do have something and they do fight back against fairy tale and that kind of surprised me well I don't know if their skills will be enough to vanquish a uh, fairy tale but i do like that they do put up a fight uh, and we'll learn a little more about the characteristics of each one of these three guys so we have one guy that has a gun and apparently is a sniper he, dev he kind of probably uses even if i'm not completely certain if he uses the same the same magic that uh, that couple that is in fairy tale and as the little kid uses one of the guys in a way he kind of reminds me one of the garo knights the guy with the fist the iron fist or spear in form of fist or something like that uh, his power kind of remind me remind me one of the garo knights and the last one the third one is a swordsman so well or they use a kind of uh, extendable sword so this is quite interesting and i'm pleased they are fight fighting back and they are kind of make made a fairy tale and a hard uh, fight especially Natsu and uh, Dre and even Lucy that calls out Sagittarius and mm, the arrow of Sagittarius was kind of destroyed by the guy with the gun so I think this was interesting so well and basically this is the first part of the chapter. The second part is about Erza and basically Erza stayed behind on the village uh, and she's kind of trying to understand what happened there and then she came to the conclusion that the giants are armed and if they are armed probably they were fighting someone and if they are fighting someone what they intended to protect and then it ca she came to the conclusion that probably the giants were trying to protect the sacred flame of that village and so she kind of goes the other way in the direction uh, of the backs of the giants and she thinks that the sacred flame at the end the sacred flame will be there but she kind of climbs the mountain and then she does not found anything however um, shortly after she kind of becomes a little Urza so I don't know exactly what magic is that and if the flame the sacred flame of this village is kind of another name for a spell that basically turns back time uh, or if this was a spell planted in that location by the ones that kind of froze the village to the ground so I'm not displeased by this chapter it was a good chapter uh, for now um, Mashima is kind of delivering 
so well, I'm not unhappy about it. Um, I'm happy because after all the hunters, they do actually fight and they are they're crazy looking air and their goofy appearance. It's m it's more than that and they actually can fight and fight back and I don't know if they are winning or not but they are balanced so I'm pleased by that now I do wonder what still what is the goal of Minerva is the goal of Sukubus I also stole the sacred flame was the the guys of Sukubus I that froze the, the village what's going on there so, well, basically this is the most important aspects of this chapter, so it's another setting up chapter, eventually for the fight uh, between the hunters and uh, or the, the, or until the appearance of Minerva and the other guy. So, well, I like the chapter, it was a good chapter, and that's all. So this will be my review for Fairytale Manga 344 chapter. Hope you enjoy, stay well, peace, see you soon.